I picked up the Myati battery. I went for the 20 amp hour battery and I've already run it through some capacity checks uh, using the constant current tester. <clears throat> and I got 18 and a half amp hours out of this battery using the standard uh, 0.2C testing method. So I was able to pull four amps out of it for a little over four hours. Um, obviously that doesn't meet the 20 amp hours listed on the battery, but this battery is one third the cost of, uh, of other batteries out there. So here we go, we got the Bio NO Power, also 20 amp hours. I've tested this one in a previous video, but one third the cost, uh, you look at them, they, they work out to the same weight. You'll see the Myati battery is definitely a little bigger, bigger footprint. But again, we go back to expectations, right? This one is one third the cost. So 18 and a half amp hours averaged out. I'm okay with that for 70 bucks. A um, couple of things to think about. I've seen a lot of different reviews on Amazon where people claim that these batteries have arrived uh, dead. They're not working. I'm gonna say 90% of the time what that is, is a, this battery self discharges over time. And then that BMS inside, the um, basically the battery protection system, what that's gonna do is it's gonna shut this voltage off to these posts when it reaches 10 volts. So that's just a protection feature. All you have to do to overcome that is put a charger on, the, on these posts and charge it normally. They claim this can be charged with any battery charger, any um, lead acid battery charger. I don't think I would do that. I would think uh, I would just go ahead and purchase a um, lithium iron phosphate charger. They're not very expensive. Um, you should be able to, to charge it at, the, at a 20 amp rate. Um, I don't charge my batteries that high unless I'm going to need to use them right away, I would charge, I'd be more comfortable at like a two amp rate. <clears throat> and then, uh, I don't think I would pull any more than 20 amps out of this battery at a time. Um, I wasn't able to find a good data sheet for this, but I'm going to use it for uh, running an HF radio. So 20 amps is, is fine. So would I buy it again? I think I would at this point. Um, if I if I use this some more and I find anything else wrong with it, I'll be sure to let you guys know.